is Chrysler, 1960, the only all-new car in its class. An automobile of sophisticated design with flowing lines which lend emphasis to lowness and length. An all-new unibody of spacious design bringing to the industry new quietness and safety. Yes, uh... Brilliant new exterior styling, which is sure to make Chrysler, again, the most copied car in the industry. Yes, but, uh... <clears throat> Beautiful new driver-centered interiors, which bring fresh luxury and comfort to Chrysler's class, and... Oh, well. Quiet, please. And dramatic new industry exclusives which confirm that Chrysler is the only new automobile this year. That's fine, George. Thanks. Now, what George says is sure true, fellas, but what does all this mean to you? Well, hey, cut the music, will you? Simply that the 1960 Chrysler has what it takes to make your selling job a lot easier. That's because it has what people want. New comfort, convenience, and most important, new looks. That's what sells cars, as you know. So let's start where your prospects will, with styling. Take Chrysler's grill, for example. Now, this shape used to come only on the 300, but now all models have this sporty look, and people will really go for it. In Windsor's and Saratoga's, this fine mesh grill is anodized aluminum, so it won't rust. In New Yorkers, the satin-finished anodized aluminum bars recessed in chrome makes the grill stand out from other models. Uh, I'm pointing out the differences because New Yorker prospects want to know that their pride and joy looks different from the Windsor. And here's another thing. Not only does this sturdy gull wing bumper look sharp, but it's one of the few bumpers left today that offers any real protection to the side. It even protects the fenders with these jet tank wraparounds. That's a selling point with traffic as heavy as it is today. Now, when you look at the hood, there's a clean look about them. No hood ornament. You mean no projections to break the lines? Uh, uh, like I said, real clean. And that groove down the center of the hood. Smooth, sculptured valley. Well, anyway, it, it gives the driver a road guide. Okay, George. And, fellas, this big windshield is standard on all models this year, something your four-door sedan and wagon prospects will like. Now, from the side, there's a long, low, rakish look about Chrysler that'll really impress prospects. And you can tell them that there's a lot more room inside this year because of the new unibody. And speaking of the body, look at this. All the styling is molded right into the sheet metal of the body, so there's less need to rely on two tones and chrome packages to bring out styling. In fact, the regular two-tone is roof, one color, and body, another. This makes selling out of stock easier this year. Windsor and Saratoga models carry this single chrome spear along the side. Now for a second two-tone, this special molding and color insert matching the roof is available. New Yorkers are identified by the gold back nameplate and chevrons. And to give the car a heavier look, the entire lower edge of the body is framed in chrome. On New Yorker two-door hardtops, this roof molding helps distinguish them from Windsor's and Saratoga's. And while you're telling prospects about Chrysler styling, why not mention that these new taillights are more than high fashion? They are safer taillights because they are high and can be seen from the sides. The four-door sedan now has a real hardtop look, hasn't it? It has the basic hardtop body with stainless steel on the upper door sections and a safety center pillar. So now you can offer prospects a sedan with real hardtop styling. Another thing, the giant rear window is now standard on all two-door hardtops, so you can sell increased visibility to more prospects. It is also standard on New Yorker four-door hardtops and optional on other four-door hardtops. Another point you can make is how practical this new styling is. For instance, the deck lid slopes down to meet the deck panel, which turns under to give a sports car flavor. This turn under ridge also makes the whole rear end much stronger. And look here. The groove down the deck lid, or as George would say, the sculptured valley, is there for looks, 
but it also makes the lid more sturdy. And you can tell New Yorkers by a strip of chrome down the groove. This year, for the first time, a new flight sweep deck lid is available on all models except wagons. It's molded into the deck lid as one piece, not added on. You can sell this good-looking deck lid to people who like extra flash and sportiness. And there are several other rear-end features your prospects will like. Take this trunk lock in the panel, not in the deck lid. It's more convenient to use. Your keys don't ride up when the lid is opened. Another feature is this new gas tank filler pipe. Aside from improving the looks of the car by taking it out of the fender, it's easier to fill the tank. No matter which side of the gas pump you park on, there's no need to pull the gas hose over the finish of the car. And finally, the new trunk is an important selling feature with many prospects. It's deeper this year because of the new unibody. And there's more usable space because the gas filler pipe is out of the way. Pretty smart car on the outside, isn't it? But folks have to be sold on the inside, too. The comfort, the controls, and the looks. And brother, you can open the door of a Chrysler with pride. There are some real sharp sales features in here, things that'll help a man decide to buy today. Maybe the main thing to point out is that Chrysler interiors are driver-centered. Take this new instrument panel, for example. It's different. It presents a unique styling motif, never before captured in an automobile. Okay, George, it's unique. About the first thing your prospects will notice is this good-looking instrument cluster with... Glamorous new Astrodome. Not bad. Not bad at all, George. But you have to tell them what it'll do for prospects, like this. <coughs> Fellas, this Astrodome is right in front of the driver where it should be. All the gauges and controls are grouped for single-glance reading. It's easier for the driver to know what's going on under the hood day or night. And speaking of night driving, wow. You were going to mention panelescent lighting, the revolutionary new method of illuminating the glamorous Astrodome? Yes, George, I was. And I'll admit it's the greatest forward step in car lighting since Chrysler introduced dual headlights in 1957. But prospects will want to know that we don't use any bulbs, so lights cannot fade or burn out for the life of the car. And that night driving is safer because this new lighting has less eye strain and needs less eye adjustment. A further example of Chrysler's driver-centered interior is this. Torque flight push buttons on the left match heater buttons on the right. And the turn indicator control on the left matches the sliding temperature lever on the right. This arrangement of controls makes driving easier. Men will appreciate the new inside hood release, which gives sure protection for the engine compartment. And you can even use it with the ladies. You can tell them that the inside hood release helped make possible the new front styling. It eliminates the need for a hood release opening in the grill. And while we're on the subject of women... Who was talking about women? Never mind, George, you wouldn't understand. Uh, seriously, fellas, we all know the importance of talking to the woman in selling cars. And sometimes the little things, like this new ashtray and lighter, can help sell her. The simple tilting action makes it easier to use, saves broken fingernails. And women will like this roomier glove compartment with special clip for holding road maps and cup impressions on the inside of the door, little conveniences that can have influence. Another convenience this year is new full-width sun visors, which increase daytime driving safety. When forward, they give almost complete shading. And at the side, far more shading is provided than on previous models. Before we leave the little ladies, bless them, Here's a feature most women are interested in, instrument panel padding, which not only gives protection for her children, but adds to the good looks of the panel. This new deluxe steering wheel stands on its own feet when it comes to selling features. First of all, the lower rim is flattened to make it even easier to slide under. The padded horn bars leave the driver a clear view of the Astrodome. When your prospects try this high tower seat, they'll have one more idea of what Chrysler's driver-centered interior means. They can actually feel the additional support of the high seat back across their backs and shoulders. And be sure to point out the added comfort they'll get on long trips. Aren't you going to tell them why? Why what? Why Chrysler puts so much emphasis on the driver with driver-centered interiors? 
Aren't you going to tell them that more people travel alone than with passengers? And that Chrysler, more than its competitors, realizes the importance of driver's safety, comfort, and convenience? No, I guess I won't. But, fellas, I do want to talk about another new feature which women especially will like. Automatic swivel seats. Aside from the lush comfort of solid foam rubber and the overall good looks and convenience of last year's manual swivel seat, this new version swivels out when the door is opened automatically. Tell prospects that this is the easiest seat in the industry to get in and out of. It almost thinks for itself, and only Chrysler in its class has it. While we're on the subject of seats, here's a real comfort story. There's more foam rubber in Chrysler seats than in any competitive make, a 30% increase over last year. You were going to tell them that the all-new handcrafted three-tone interiors are the most luxurious ever offered by Chrysler? Yes, George. The new seat coverings and door trims are really sharp. Sedans and hardtops have six different colors. There are new throttle-type door handles and a new forward vent window latch, which not only look good, but make for easier operation and are standard on all models. Now let's look at the interiors individually. Windsor interiors are really upgraded from 59. In quality, they are equivalent to last year's Saratoga, even down to heavy looped pile carpeting. And an all vinyl interior is standard in the convertible and wagon. In Saratoga models, this handsome all vinyl trim with woven seat inserts of saddle grain vinyl is offered for those who want this extra durability. But even the standard trim is comparable to that in 59 New Yorkers. And brother, does this New Yorker have luxury? The same kind that was formerly available only in Imperial models. New Yorker four-door sedans have two standard trims, one an all-wool broadcloth. Besides the standard trims, vinyl and genuine leather are available. Well, fellas, interiors like this should leave little doubt in the minds of your prospects that Chrysler really has it on the inside. And we really got it in models, too. Three four-door sedans are available this year. One in each of the three series, Windsor, Saratoga, and New Yorker. With only two side windows, hard top styling is a good selling point with these models. Three two-door hard tops are offered, a Windsor, Saratoga, and New Yorker. The large rear window is standard in all, a good thing to tell prospects. Again, Windsor, Saratoga, and New Yorker series have a four-door hard top. This year, these models have the same ruminous and comfort of four-door sedans. And of course, there are two convertibles in the line, a Windsor and New Yorker. They are the only full-size unit body convertibles in Chrysler's class, a point rattle-conscious prospects will want to know. And finally... Hold it, please. What is it this time, George? I'd like to talk about our next model. Gentlemen, for the first time in Chrysler history, an all-new, completely different, four-door, hard-top, town and country wagon makes its debut. The high-fashion Windsor and the luxurious New Yorker provide elegance beyond compare. Here is truly... Uh, thanks very much, George. And, fellows, both six- and nine-passenger models are offered just as in 59. Fellows, that's the model lineup. A total of 13 models for the widest selection in Chrysler's class. After the first of the year, you'll have the 300F also. And as we've seen, Chrysler has what it takes to make your selling job easier. That's because it has what people want. New comfort, convenience, and new looks. Well, I guess that's all I have to say. Do you have a parting word, George? Have I? Could we have some music, please? <coughs> Sophisticated design, freshness of concept, integrity of character, these are the hallmarks which confirm that Chrysler, above all, is the automobile of superb quality and good taste. The only all-new automobile for 1960. <laughs> <laughs>